Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and DLC 3 The United Front has launched for Call of Duty World War 2 and I've played for a pretty extensive amount of time last night and then I also grinded a few games in the morning and more than likely after this video is up I'll play for a few more hours and I gotta say DLC 3 is the best DLC for World War 2 so far. Really been having a fun time playing uh, but I am gonna talk more about my review on the DLC in a second here but really quick guys for another year we have a set of esports camos coming to Call of Duty. However, as of now, they are not yet viable. But if you do head over to Private Match and then you play with bots, some of the bots will have an esports camo on their weapon. I'm, I'm gonna have a few images on screen for you guys by Nimble underscore COD. I believe he got all the pictures of the different camos. Uh, I'm not really a big fan though of the way they look because they literally just have the logo plastered around the gun and, and that's exactly the design for all these camos. There really isn't any effort I feel. I, I'm more than likely I'm going to buy the optic camo because that's my favorite esports team. You know, I'll support them but dang these camos look so so bad. I can literally make a better one in the paint shop. Uh, but tell me how you guys feel about this down below in the comments. Again, I'm not a big fan of the way they look. Now guys, back to the DLC. It seems like a lot of players are having a hard time to play the DLC at the very start because for some reason, uh, the DLC was taken off the PSN store or if you have it downloaded from the pre-download, you were not able to play right when it went live. I think all these issues are fixed as of now, but it's still kind of frustrating because uh, me and a few other YouTubers I play with such as Lights Out, Prestigious Key, my buddy lazy we were all gonna play the DLC but none of us could start the the map so Ryan just got off because he couldn't play uh, but again like after an hour or so the maps were back on and I, I've got to say Sledgehammer did a really great job on this DLC I love all three of the multiplayer maps uh, but Monte Casino is probably my favorite out of all the three and uh, the gameplay you're watching right now is actually on this map I do go 40 and 10 I believe and uh, oh also two on this map not in this game though but I got into a another match with FaZe, Kitty, and Optic Spread. This is like the third or fourth time, so uh, that's pretty cool. Insanely good players at the game. Like, their accuracy, it, it, it's so crazy. It's literally like a oh, like an art form, I feel. And I'm gonna look for the screenshot. I'll have it on uh, screen for you guys, the little leaderboard image. Uh, but yeah, I love Monte Casino. Well, because there's so many different areas to go to, and you really don't have to worry about someone camping because, you know, there's so many different areas a player can rush to but then that does seem like the theme for a lot of these maps in this DLC. Stalingrad has to be my second favorite map for this reason too uh, but it still does feel like you know the traditional three lane map uh, but there is that little underground section of the map. Didn't really see too many players utilize that part though for the few for the first few games. I, I eventually saw them go to that more often now and I think more players are going to start going there. And then my third favorite map would have to be Market Garden. There's so many gunfights you'll get into that's really close up close quarters battles and I do kind of feel that if you're running something other than an SMG or a shotgun you may struggle to do well but still the map is very very fun and uh, in total I think I'm gonna rate this DLC a uh, the multiplayer maps by the way I think I'm gonna rate them like a 8.5 to a 9 like I said they're very very fun and then operation supercharge I feel is the best war map we have so far um, out of 5, I, I probably am going to give that a, a 4.5 or 5. Um, I do feel it's the best war map again. And like, I just kind of wish all these maps and the war map would have been there at the very start. Like, I, I think if some of the maps from DLC 2 and then DLC 3, if they were there at the start, then a lot of fans might have stuck around. I, I feel the base maps for World War 2 really aren't that great. Uh, but that's just me though. Again, this DLC I feel is definitely worth your money. I haven't been, uh, I haven't played zombies at all, so I can't really give an opinion about that. I'm not too big of a zombies player either, so I don't know. I mean, like I said, this DLC is pretty dang solid. I, ha I had a pretty fun time playing, and uh, if you guys are, you know, you have the cash lying around, you, you know, you want to have some fresh content, definitely do pick up this DLC. If you guys have the DLC already, please tell me down below in the comments what your thoughts are, what are your favorite maps. I really want to know your opinion on this down below in the comments. Also, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thanks for watching till next time i'll see you guys later